Section 1. Introduction. The Ancient Art of Cupping. Cupping therapy is an ancient form of alternative medicine. It has been practiced for thousands of years in various cultures worldwide. From ancient Egypt and China to Greece, cupping has been used to treat a wide range of ailments. Today, cupping therapy is experiencing a resurgence in popularity, as more and more people are discovering its potential health benefits. This ancient practice involves placing special cups on the skin. Traditionally, these cups were made from materials such as bamboo or glass. Modern cupping often utilizes silicone cups. The cups create suction, drawing the skin upwards. This unique technique is believed to stimulate blood flow, promote healing, and relieve various health concerns. In recent years, cupping therapy has gained significant attention. Athletes, celebrities, and health enthusiasts alike have embraced this ancient practice. Its growing popularity is fueled by a desire for natural and holistic approaches to health and well-being. As more people seek alternatives to conventional medicine, cupping therapy presents a compelling option. This comprehensive guide explores the fascinating world of cupping therapy. We will delve into its history, mechanisms of action, potential benefits, and safety considerations. By the end, you will have a deeper understanding of this ancient practice and its potential to enhance your health and wellness journey. Join us as we unveil the secrets of cupping therapy and its remarkable impact on the body and mind. Pause 3S, Section 2, The Global History of Cupping Therapy. Cupping therapy has a rich and diverse history, with roots tracing back to several ancient civilizations around the world. In ancient China, cupping therapy was documented as early as 3000 BCE. Traditional Chinese medicine texts describe the use of animal horns and bamboo cups to treat various ailments. The practice was believed to balance the body's energy, or qi, and improve overall health. Pause 3S. Moving westward to ancient Egypt, we find evidence of cupping therapy in the Ebers Papyrus, one of the oldest medical texts in existence, dating back to 1550 BCE. The Egyptians used cupping to treat fever, pain, vertigo, and menstrual imbalances. They believed that cupping could help remove bodily impurities and restore health. Pause 3. S. In ancient Greece, cupping therapy was highly regarded by physicians like Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine. Around 400 BCE, Hippocrates recommended cupping for a variety of ailments, including musculoskeletal problems and lung diseases. He believed that cupping could draw out toxins and restore balance within the body. Pause 3. S. As we journey through history, we see that cupping therapy was also practiced in other cultures, including the Middle East and Europe. Each culture adapted the technique to suit their unique medical philosophies and materials available. From Persia to Rome, cupping became an integral part of traditional healing practices. Pause 3S. Today, the global history of cupping therapy is a testament to its enduring appeal and effectiveness. This ancient practice has transcended cultural boundaries and continues to be embraced by people seeking natural and holistic approaches to health. As we move forward, it is important to honor and respect the diverse traditions that have contributed to the development of cupping therapy. Pause 3. S. Join us as we continue to explore the fascinating world of cupping therapy, delving deeper into its mechanisms, benefits, and applications in modern times. Section 2. What is cupping therapy? Cupping therapy is a form of alternative medicine. It involves placing cups on the skin to create suction. This suction pulls the skin upwards, creating a vacuum-like effect. This technique is believed to stimulate blood flow, promote relaxation, and address various health concerns. There are different types of cupping therapy. These include dry cupping, fire cupping, and wet cupping. Dry cupping uses only suction, while fire cupping uses a flame to create a vacuum before applying the cups. Wet cupping involves making small incisions on the skin before placing the cups, allowing for the release of toxins. Cupping therapy is often used to address a wide range of conditions. These include muscle pain, inflammation, respiratory issues, and skin conditions. It is also believed to improve circulation, reduce stress, and promote overall well-being. Pause 2S. Section 4, Modern Techniques in Cupping Therapy. While the ancient roots of cupping therapy remain, modern advancements have introduced new techniques and tools to enhance its effectiveness. Today, practitioners utilize various types of cups, each designed for specific therapeutic purposes. Pause 1S. One of the most common types of cups used in modern cupping therapy is the silicone cup. These cups are flexible and can be easily manipulated to control the level of suction. 
Silicone cups are often used for dynamic cupping, where the cup is moved across the skin to target larger muscle groups and improve circulation. Pause 1S. Another popular option is the plastic cup, which often comes with a pump mechanism. This allows practitioners to create a controlled vacuum without the need for fire, making it a safer alternative for some patients. Plastic cups are versatile and can be used for both stationary and moving cupping techniques. Pause 1S. Glass cups, reminiscent of traditional fire cupping, are still widely used today. These cups are typically heated with a flame to create suction before being applied to the skin. Glass cups are preferred for their durability and ability to maintain a strong vacuum, making them ideal for deeper tissue work. Pause 1S. Additionally, there are magnetic cups, which incorporate small magnets within the cup to provide an added layer of therapeutic benefit. These magnets are believed to enhance blood flow and promote healing through the principles of magnetotherapy. Pause 1S. Modern cupping therapy also includes the use of electronic cupping devices. These devices utilize a motorized pump to create suction, allowing for precise control over the intensity and duration of the treatment. Electronic cupping devices are particularly useful for practitioners seeking consistency and accuracy in their treatments. Pause 1S. Each of these modern techniques offers unique benefits and can be tailored to the specific needs of the patient. By integrating these advancements, cupping therapy continues to evolve, providing a versatile and effective approach to holistic healthcare. Pause to S. In the next section, we will delve deeper into how cupping therapy works and the theories behind its potential benefits. Section three, cupping therapy. How does it work? The exact mechanisms of action of cupping therapy are still being studied. However, several theories attempt to explain its potential benefits. One prominent theory suggests that the suction created by the cups helps to increase blood flow to the treated area. This increased blood flow may deliver more oxygen and nutrients to the tissues, promoting healing and reducing inflammation. Another theory proposes that cupping therapy influences the flow of qi or vital energy in the body. According to traditional Chinese medicine, qi is essential for overall health and well-being. Cupping is believed to remove blockages in the flow of qi, restoring balance and harmony to the body. Furthermore, cupping therapy may stimulate the lymphatic system, which plays a crucial role in detoxification and immune function. The suction created by the cups is thought to encourage lymphatic drainage, helping to remove waste products and toxins from the body. Pause 3S. Section 6. Cupping Therapy in Sports. Recovery and Performance Enhancement. Athletes are always on the lookout for methods to enhance their performance and speed up recovery, and cupping therapy has emerged as a popular tool in the sports world, embraced by elite athletes across various disciplines. But how exactly are they using it? Visualize this. A swimmer at the peak of their performance preparing for the next big competition. As they step out of the therapy room, you notice the telltale circular marks of cupping therapy on their back and shoulders. These marks are not just a trend, they signify a commitment to optimal recovery and performance. Cupping therapy helps athletes by reducing muscle soreness and stiffness, allowing them to recover faster after intense training sessions. The increased blood flow and lymphatic drainage promote quicker healing of micro tears in the muscles, a common consequence of rigorous workouts. Imagine a track star pushing their limits on the field. After a grueling session, they undergo cupping therapy to alleviate muscle tension and enhance flexibility. The suction from the cups assists in breaking down adhesions and scar tissue, fostering a greater range of motion. Not just limited to physical recovery, cupping therapy also aids in mental preparation. The relaxation and stress relief it provides can help athletes maintain focus and clarity, crucial elements for peak performance. From swimmers to runners, and even professional football players, the circles of cupping therapy have become a badge of honor. They symbolize dedication, resilience, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. So the next time you see an athlete with those distinctive marks, you'll know they are harnessing the ancient art of cupping therapy to stay at the top of their game. Pause 3S. Now let's delve into what scientific studies say about the efficacy of cupping therapy. Section 4. The Science Behind Cupping. What do studies say? While cupping therapy has a long history of anecdotal evidence, scientific research on its effectiveness is still evolving. A growing body of research suggests that cupping therapy may offer potential benefits for various health conditions. A 2012 study published in the journal PLOS ONE 
found that cupping therapy was effective in reducing chronic neck pain. The study involved 60 participants who received either cupping therapy or progressive muscle relaxation. The results showed that those who received cupping therapy experienced significant reductions in pain, intensity and disability compared to the control group. Another study, published in the journal Evidence-Based Complementary and Alternative Medicine in 2017, investigated the effects of cupping therapy on knee osteoarthritis. The study included 50 participants who received either cupping therapy or conventional treatment. The findings revealed that cupping therapy significantly improved pain, stiffness, and physical function in patients with knee osteoarthritis. While these studies provide promising insights, more research is needed to fully understand the mechanisms of action and long-term effects of cupping therapy. Continued scientific investigation is crucial to establishing its efficacy and safety for various health conditions. Pause 3S. Section 6. The Calming Influence of Cupping Therapy, Stress Relief and Mental Well-Being. In our fast-paced world, stress and mental fatigue have become common challenges. Cupping therapy, known for its physical benefits, also offers a unique approach to enhancing mental and emotional well-being. Imagine a serene setting, dim lighting, and the gentle application of cups on your skin. The suction and release create a rhythmic sensation that can be incredibly soothing. This process is thought to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system, promoting a state of deep relaxation. As the tension in your muscles eases, so does the tension in your mind. People who undergo cupping therapy often report a sense of calm and tranquility. The practice can help reduce cortisol levels, the hormone associated with stress, thereby fostering a more balanced state of mind. This reduction in stress can lead to improved mood, increased focus, and enhanced overall mental clarity. Moreover, cupping therapy's impact on the body's energy flow, or qi, is believed to remove blockages that can hinder emotional well-being. By restoring this flow, individuals may experience a heightened sense of inner peace and emotional resilience. Whether you are dealing with daily stressors, anxiety, or even mild depression, cupping therapy can be a holistic approach to achieving mental equilibrium. It's not just about physical healing, it's about nurturing your mental and emotional health as well. Cupping therapy offers a sanctuary of calm in a chaotic world, helping you reconnect with your inner self and find a sense of balance and well-being. Pause 3S. Let's explore how this ancient practice can rejuvenate not just your body, but also your mind and soul. Section 5. Benefits of Cupping Therapy. From Pain Relief to Enhanced Well-Being. Cupping therapy is believed to offer a wide range of potential benefits. One of the most well-known benefits is pain relief. The suction created by the cups is thought to reduce muscle tension, alleviate pain, and promote relaxation. Cupping therapy is often used to address back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, and headaches. In addition to pain relief, cupping therapy is also believed to reduce inflammation. The increased blood flow and lymphatic drainage stimulated by cupping may help to reduce swelling and inflammation in the affected areas. This makes cupping therapy a potential treatment option for conditions such as arthritis, tendinitis, and other inflammatory disorders. Beyond its physical benefits, cupping therapy is also thought to promote emotional and mental well-being. The relaxing and calming effects of cupping may help to reduce stress, anxiety, and depression. Some people also report experiencing improved sleep quality and increased energy levels after cupping therapy sessions. Pause 3S. DIY cupping therapy at home, a step-by-step -step guide. If you're curious about trying cupping therapy at home, it's important to do it safely and effectively. Let's walk through a simple step-by-step -step guide to help you get started. First, gather your supplies. You'll need clean, sterilized cups, a cupping set which can be purchased online or at a health store, and some massage oil to help the cups glide smoothly on your skin. Step one, choose a quiet, comfortable space where you can relax. Make sure the area is clean and free from distractions. Step two, apply a thin layer of massage oil to the area you plan to treat. This helps the cups create a seal and allows for smooth movement. Step three, place the cup on your skin and use the pump or heat method to create suction. If you're using a pump, gently squeeze to create a vacuum. If you're using a heat method, quickly place the cup on your skin after heating it. Step four, leave the cup in place for five, 15 minutes. You should feel a gentle pulling sensation, but it should not be painful. If you experience discomfort, release the suction immediately. Step five, 
To remove the cup, gently press the skin next to the cup to break the seal and lift it off. Clean the area with a warm, damp cloth and apply a soothing lotion if needed. Safety tips. Always start with a small area to test your skin's reaction. Avoid cupping over open wounds, varicose veins, or inflamed areas. And remember, if you have any medical conditions or are unsure about performing cupping therapy at home, consult with a healthcare professional first. With these steps and tips, you can safely explore the benefits of cupping therapy from the comfort of your home. Happy cupping! Cupping therapy in action real-life applications. You know, cupping therapy has really taken off, especially among athletes and those looking for natural ways to ease pain and speed up recovery. Athletes, especially from high-impact sports, often deal with muscle soreness, stiffness, and injuries. Cupping therapy is believed to help by reducing muscle tension, promoting blood flow to injured areas, and accelerating healing. It's not just for athletes, though. Many people incorporate it into their wellness routines as a way to manage stress and promote relaxation. The gentle suction and warmth from the cups can really create a sense of calm and well-being, helping to reduce anxiety and improve sleep quality. And it's also used to address respiratory issues like colds, coughs, and asthma. The suction from the cups helps loosen mucus and improve lung function. Plus, it may even help with skin conditions like acne, eczema, and cellulite. Pause 2S. Common questions and misconceptions about cupping therapy. Let's address some of the most frequently asked questions and clear up common misconceptions. Question 1. Does cupping therapy hurt? Pause 1S. While you might feel a slight pulling sensation from the suction, cupping therapy is generally not painful. Most people find it relaxing and even soothing. Question 2. Are the marks left by cupping therapy bruises? Pause 1. S. No, the marks are not bruises. They are caused by the suction pulling blood to the surface of the skin, creating temporary discoloration. Unlike bruises, these marks are usually painless and fade within a few days to a week. Question 3. Can anyone undergo cupping therapy? Pause 1S. Not everyone is a suitable candidate for cupping therapy. It's important to consult with a qualified healthcare professional, especially if you have underlying health conditions, are pregnant, or are taking medications. Question 4. Is cupping therapy a cure-all? Pause 1S. Cupping therapy can be beneficial for various conditions, but it is not a cure-all. It's best used as part of a holistic approach to health and wellness, complementing other treatments and healthy lifestyle choices. Question 5. Can I do cupping therapy at home? Pause 1S. While there are DIY cupping sets available, it's recommended to have cupping therapy done by a trained and certified practitioner to ensure safety and effectiveness. Question 6. How often should I get cupping therapy? Pause 1S. The frequency of cupping therapy sessions varies depending on individual needs and conditions. Your practitioner can provide personalized recommendations based on your specific situation. By addressing these common questions and misconceptions, we hope to provide a clearer understanding of what cupping therapy entails and how it can benefit you. Safety and precautions. While cupping therapy is generally safe when performed by a qualified and experienced practitioner, it's important to be aware of potential risks and side effects. One common side effect is temporary skin discoloration. The suction from the cups can cause circular marks that might range in color from light pink to dark purple. These marks are usually painless and fade within a few days to a week. However, in rare cases, cupping therapy may cause burns, blisters, or skin infections, especially if the cups are left on too long or if the practitioner is inexperienced. It's crucial to consult with a qualified healthcare professional before trying cupping therapy, particularly if you have underlying health conditions, are pregnant or breastfeeding, or are taking medications. Finding a qualified cupping therapist. If you're considering cupping therapy, it's crucial to find a qualified and experienced practitioner. You might want to start by looking for a licensed acupuncturist, massage therapist, or other healthcare professional who has specific training in cupping. Asking for recommendations from friends, family, or your primary care physician can be a great way to find someone reputable. You can also search online for cupping therapists in your area. When choosing a practitioner, make sure to inquire about their experience, qualifications, and hygiene practices. During your initial consultation, the practitioner should review your medical history, discuss any current health concerns and any medications you're taking. 
They should also clearly explain the procedure, potential risks and benefits, and be ready to answer any questions you might have. Conclusion. Embrace the healing power of cupping. Cupping therapy is an ancient practice that continues to captivate and intrigue people around the world. Its potential to alleviate pain, reduce inflammation, and promote overall well-being has made it a sought-after alternative therapy. While scientific research on cupping therapy is still evolving, the growing body of evidence suggests it has potential benefits for various health conditions. As with any therapeutic modality, it's essential to approach cupping therapy with caution and seek treatment from a qualified and experienced practitioner. By doing so, you can embrace the healing power of cupping and explore its potential to enhance your health and wellness journey. Thank you for watching this video on cupping therapy. We hope you found it informative and engaging. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing to Facts Academy 0122 for more fascinating insights into the world of health and wellness. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and family.